Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. Um, yeah, we might be going into another boss battle because Elise is in there, down below, underground, go about to go against this big armored guy, and I haven't saved, and I really hope I don't die horribly, but let's get to it. Hmm, if you guys no like this video, it. then please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up or subscribe to the channel for more. <sighs> Why do I have to? <coughs> Police? A scream? It came from farther inside. It came from below. What is this place? Wow, this is what it looks like down here now? Going down, huh? All right then, Patty Cakes. Time to lock and load. Patty Cakes. Don't call me that. But why did it unlock when she came in the door? I'm very. Hmm. What the hell is that? I'm curious. I think she just fainted. He didn't kill her. Elise! <laughs> he tried to walk forward but got stopped. Oh no! Flashback. Do rain. Beast mode. Oh, his hair turned white! Oh, Demon Rain! Oh, what the? <gasps> Dang! Oh, we about to go get some by ourselves? No. Oh, sh- What was that? That voice? Ah, uh, dang, we don't- we don't got crap! Okay, let's just see what happens if we just, like, straight up just attack. Oh my. Oh my. Please don't die. Ow. No, that's not doing much trouble. Well, how, how about this? Seems to be like the same thing. Seems art seemed to do a load. Okay, that that did wonders. Now move out the way before he strikes you down. Ow, he, he did it anyway. Alright. Let's just do a double whammy. Come on now. Some power. Oh, okay. Now. Um, let's heal up. That didn't do much. Okay, yeah, so running from him doesn't do diddly squat. 
We definitely need to like heal ourselves with something. Items. Oh my god, we're going to die horribly. Oh, what happened? I know we didn't beat you. Summoning more power? You going super super saiyan? What's happening? Is he trying to suppress his power? Oh, so he's trying to calm himself down. Y'all can tag in whenever. I have to try anyway. Take back myself. Take back what I lost that winter's day. Thank you, Crow. What? About fucking time. You're not thinking of leaving me out of the action, are you? Take care of the girl, catastrophe. Dang. Don't call me that either. Thanks. I owe you one. No problem. Let's fire up those combat links. Please tell me my health went all the way back up to, please. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Come at me. Go. Arcus, activate. My turn. Freeze. <laughs> Get it? All right, that did quite a bit of damage. Go. Ow. Did your stats change? No, they didn't, so... Oh, you got a lot. Okay, okay, okay. So this does. Ow. Uh. 
He's going after Crow, which means we need to keep Crow alive. Ow. Leave it to me. My turn. All right, let's see what your S break look like, my boy. He said, like, "Yeah, you're done." Ooh. <laughs> Step my fingers, knife, and look back. Ooh, yep, that did it. <laughs> Go down, bitch. And strong. I'm the total package. Oh my god, can you stop? I'm glad my boy crows it because we were struggling for that first, and I was like, oh no, I'm gonna die. Right. I'd finished my crash course in craziness half a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Crow. So you can use Arcus too? Yeah, I was part of the trial program for Class 7. That's how I met Toa, George, and Jellica. I see. Reen. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Uh, I'm fine. I just lost my balance when that tremor hit earlier. But thank you for protecting me. Just like you did back then. No, this time was different, wasn't it? I... Yeah. I pulled through. Somehow. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh. Here comes the cleanup crew. Reen, are you all right? Is your sister... Oh, good. It looks like she's okay. What happened here? A giant suit of armor? It looks like something imbued with the magic of the Dark Ages. I can't begin to imagine what must have transpired here. Well, a tough fight did, at least. You're all here. Ugh, good grief. <sighs> I'm so relieved you were able to find your sister and that everyone's okay. She's even more of a beauty than I'd imagined. Oh! I'd love to get some hands-on time with that door in this suit of armor. I swear, it's almost comforting how you guys never change. But hey, what took you, Instructor? Sorry about that. Still, it looks like you guys managed to handle things just fine without me. I take it this big lug came from inside that door? Yes, I was just looking at it when suddenly... Hold on. Let's just give our report starting from the top. <sighs> oh, she's glaring at the cat. She's like, I knew you did this.
she's like, <laughs> whatever. I don't care. Yeah, you can tell they don't see eye to eye with this. Good evening. I'm your host, Misty. You're listening to Radio Trista. It's July 18th and things are finally cooling down now at 9 p.m. So pour yourself a cold drink and let's roll right into tonight's oven time, shall we? It's just over a week until Heimdall kicks off its summer festival, a month after the rest of the country. I'm sure plenty of you out there might be thinking of the concert in the Heimdall Opera House or the summer races. But the festival is best known for its opening day events, traditionally attended by members of the Imperial family. This year, Crown Prince Cedric will be making an appearance at the ceremony in Heimdall Cathedral. And his sister, Princess Alfin, will be attending a posh garden party sponsored by Heimdall City Hall. I would have loved to see the Empire's two greatest treasures in person, but alas, I can't get away from work that day. But don't you worry, I'm still planning on winning my bets on the summer races. I'll let you know how I do. If you're not old enough to place a bet, don't worry. You'll be able to make questionable financial decisions soon enough. <laughs> oh my god. He said, if you're not old enough to place bets, don't worry. You'll be able to make questionable financial decisions soon enough. Questionable. <laughs> Moving along. I'm sure by now many of you have heard about the ongoing construction of the giant building in Crossbell State. It's supposed to be even taller than the Rhineford building in Ruhr, making it the continent's first true skyscraper. The latest reports say that construction is almost complete and that it'll be unveiled at next month's trade conference. A lot of you have been writing in about it, so I'll be sure to keep you posted with all the latest. Okay. Please ask me, do I want to save? Thank you. Because I really want to save. I was sweating. I was literally just like, oh god, please tell me I'm going to live. Oh no, it's another exam. All right, it's time you've all been waiting for your next practical exam. Are you sure you don't want to sit this one out and just watch me? I'm sure. I've got enough rest in the past three days to make a full recovery. In fact, I say I feel even better than usual. Well, if you say so, in that case, you're up first. Now choose your partner. Okay. What the? Why? Why can't we choose these two? Some bull. I'll go with him. Your opponent's day will be, let's see, how about Laura and Fee? Yeah, we'll go with them. That's why it wouldn't let me choose. Oh no. She's basically trying to force them to work together. And they're both like, what? Very well. Okay. A little on the bottom side today, you think? Well, this would make for an interesting battle if nothing else. Lauren and Fee have a clear advantage when it comes to strength and speed. She's looking at her like, huh. They're both middle opponents, but I think we have a good chance of winning this one. As long as we make good use of the combat clicks, this fight ought to be ours for the taking. Alright. Take your positions. Because because they're fighting, theirs won't work as well. Begin. Don't you dare hold back. Don't worry, I won't. Win without using items. Activate an S craft during the battle. Ooh, okay. 
No items activate S craft. Leave it to me. How about this? Go. Go. Shatter. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Good thing I have this Tira. Ah, jeez. Here we go. There. It's my turn. How about this? Miss, man. Ow. Ow. God dang. Look, thank you. Jeez. Still can't use S break? Oh, it's because I'm paralyzed. Yeah, but he's too close to death for me to do that. I almost died just now. Items. Hang in there, everyone. Thanks. Shatter. Yeah, missed. Yes, my turn. My turn. Please gather on my plate. Hang in there, everyone. Thanks. Shatter. Woo. Are you serious? Okay. Right. 
How about this? No way! Right! Come on, live! Live! It's my turn! How about this? Yeah. Hey. It's my turn! How about this? Yeah. Hey. Shatter! You missed! <laughs> Thank you, Makis, in your hard ass head. How about this? Yes! Yes, thank you, we beat him! Vengeance! Oh, Makis, my hero. Oh my god, I literally thought I was about to lose. It was so close. That Earth Pulse saved us so much. Yeah, you're definitely keeping that move. The active party members' bonds have been strengthened. All right, that's enough. Green team scores the victory. Hehe, <laughs> excellent done, both of you. Thanks. As for you two, I don't even think I need to say anything, do I? No instructor. Okay, let's move on to the next pairing. The teams for our next two on two battle will be. You did pretty well, Thereen, but we're really gonna have to do something about those two. Yeah, it's not like they hate each other or anything, at least I don't think they do. So I feel like if they just get a good push in the right direction. Yeah, you're right. Looks like you're really back into fighting form though. Yeah, never for better actually. I didn't want to drag this out and end up worrying Elise. Two days ago. Sorry, I caused such trouble for everyone. Thank you so much for going to the trouble of preparing a bed for me. Oh, don't worry about it. Our maid can do that much without even breaking a sweat. <laughs> it's true. You can say that again. She was so well prepared you think Elise had called in a reservation. Huh, <laughs> that's Shen for you. Rain, are you sure you're alright? Yeah, I'm still sore all over, but that's nothing unexpected. Compared to the kind of training master kite. Kaife used to put me through, I feel like I got off light. But, but still. Well, he doesn't seem to appear any sprains or pull muscles. Should be better in a couple days. I see. But I can't help but feel that if I hadn't been so careless, if I hadn't gone into that building in the first place. <laughs> well, in a way, it was Rin's fault too. True, he got what he deserved for being so insensitive. Hmm. <laughs> I would have hoped that as an elder brother, you conduct yourself in a more seemly manner. Well, you're not wrong, but do you think you can maybe not all gang up on me at once? Well, can't really blame them this time. Heh, <laughs> let this be a lesson to you, Reen. Your family is your family, no matter what. Okay, okay, I get it already. <laughs> it seems everything turned out well in the end. Still, we're not close to unlocking the secrets of that giant armor, or the red door it was hiding behind. Yeah. All we know is that the red door showed up after we cleared the fourth floor of the old schoolhouse, and then when Elise went down there, it opened up and that hulking arm came out. You said her, you heard her voice come from the door, right? Yes, I think so. I'm afraid I don't remember much of what it said, though. I remember it said something about fourth lock, and the first trial, and an awakening or two, whatever that is. You should be commended for recalling even that much after what you've been through. At this point, it really does seem as though there's something significant 
hidden deeper in those ruins. Yeah, it's getting harder and harder to presume anything else, isn't it? I think from now on, it might be better idea to leave the old schoolhouse alone. What? What do you mean? The reason I sent you guys there in the first place was because I thought it might be a good training ground. But after what happened with the lease and with the elevator appearing, I feel conflicted about letting you go back. The principal is thinking about reciting his request for you guys to investigate the place too. But... I object. Fee? It's ideal for us to keep ourselves trained for battle, right? And it seems like fighting down there encourages us to cooperate better too. Much better as it may... Much as it may lack weight coming from me, I am inclined to agree. The effectiveness of combat links truly comes to the fore there. Yeah, the wind seems to suggest that to me as well. There's no denying it's dangerous, but I feel like I'd regret it if we just stopped here. Yeah, I, I have so many questions about that place, and I want some answers. I agree. Guys. I feel the same. Do you think you could talk to the principal and get him to change his mind? <laughs> Looks like I don't have much of a choice, do I? Alright, I can't promise anything, but I'll do what I can to persuade, persuade, uh, persuade the principal. But if anything else weird happens in there, I want you to report it to me immediately. Is that clear? Yes, instructor. Green, I'm afraid I still can't accept your position. Oh? That you don't wish to succeed father as head of the family, or that you, you enrolled here because of that. Honestly, it seems to me that you aren't even certain yourself what you want for your life. And because of that, it's like you've lost your way. Well, am I right? I can't deny it, but this time I was able to come back to my senses. I think enrolling here at Thoris was the first thing I'd done for myself in a long time. It's given me the chance to start moving forward, little by little, and I owe that to my friends here. Really? Hehe. <laughs> hmm. I've got a lot to think about, but I want to find an answer that works not just for me, but for you, mom and dad, too. I know it's frustrating, but I hope you'll stick with me while I'm figuring things out. And I'm sorry for being such a crappy brother to you. Green. Passenger service bound for Heimdall. We asked all the parents which would have that platform. Oh my god, this is a fast talking announcer. Oh. Green. Heimdall's not too far away. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. We can talk about this more then, okay? I... Alright. That's a promise. You are really devoted to your sister, aren't you? Though I get the feeling it's way more than just devotion on her part. Ooh. She likes you. He's like, what are you talking about? You think so? It's not like I spoil her or anything, and honestly, she can get pretty harsh towards me sometimes. I mean, I wouldn't say we get along badly or anything, but... Wow, he is... He, is, he really is totally oblivious. Yeah, she has a crush on him. Because even the princess was like, man, all you talk about is Reen. Reen, 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 Reen. That's all you talk about. She is 15, right? I've heard the nobles make their two debut in high society when they turn 16. That's right, she'll be making her debut next year. I just hope she finds a guy who deserves her one day. Because I'm not letting just any old guy marry her, noble or not. He really can be dense sometimes. I almost feel sorry for his sister. Indeed. Not shall only stroke your head like he did it was kind of cruel. Are they talking about me? Alright, let's bring this month's practical exam to an end. Alright, bring it up. Bring it over here. Where, where, where's our uh, field study? Where's the envelope? Where, where's the list of doom? Next, it's time to announce this weekend's field study locations. Yep, here it comes. Here comes the moment of truth. Exactly. I'm glad me and him are on the same wavelength. Ugh. Why are they planning on ship ship us off this month? Group 
a reload. Oh my god. No! No! She keeps doing this. I don't want it. No! Oh, of course we have the troublesome pair. Every freaking group, every freaking time we go on these ones, we always get the troublesome. We always get the ones that have the problems. And then we got the the ex rivals, Machias. Oh, wait, no, that's uh, that. Okay, never mind. So we just got Machias. We didn't get uses too. Okay, so that's at least we got that. But oh my god, no! I don't. Why? I'm not a therapist, damn it! <laughs> Why do you keep doing this to me? I swear she's doing it on purpose. He's like, even Rita's looking at it like, mm. <laughs> Oh, it looks like both groups are going to the same place, are we? Mm. Oh, we are going to the same place, but why are we in separate groups then? I assume we'll be dividing the work between our groups. Well, the capital is incredibly vast, so it seems like a logical solution. She's like, I don't like this. She's like, I definitely don't like this. Group, divi group divisions aside, I'm certainly surprised at the choice of the capital as our destination. Yeah, and I, you and I will have the home field advantage considering we're, we're both from there. I guess this means I'll get to be in town for the Sun Festival after all. His face is like, mm. Um... Instructor Sarah, <laughs> his face says it all. His face says, why are you doing this to me? Why are you pulling the shit? Oh, whatever's the matter, my beloved people? Please don't call me that. I have no objection to our destination or the arrangement of the groups. But I can't quite shake the feeling I'm being used again. It's true. It does appear you're the only one who changed groups from last month. <laughs> She's like, uh, I plead fifth. That innocent whistling isn't fooling anyone. Poor Rain. You get nothing. Well done. That was the sister. Ah, thanks, sis. This is our chance to discuss what to do before they get here. But to be honest, I don't really have any good ideas. How about you guys? I can't say that I do. Unlike me and Yusus, at least Laura and Fee understand each other to some degree. Our group's performance in last month's field study wasn't amazing, but there were no actual conflicts or anything. Yeah, that's all the more reason why I feel like we should step in and do something for them. But. From what Elisa and Emma have told me, it seems like they have trouble connecting with each other. Yeah, that's the impression I get too. It's not like they hate each other, they're just having trouble coming to terms with their differences. On the one hand, we have the daughter of a noble military family. A knight in shining armor, as it were. While on the other, we have a girl who spent her childhood on the battlefield running with Jaegers. Their upbringings couldn't be more different when you think about it. Maybe their values too. You're right. I wonder if that's... I apologize for the delay. Hey! Good morning, Laura. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> my, you're certainly the early bird today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we weren't gossiping about you at all. No, no, not at all. You needn't worry about us. We have no intention of causing trouble. And we're prepared to do what we can to form a combat link as soon as possible. It's not our intention to be confrontational towards one another. Is that not the case, Fee? Yep. Don't worry. We won't bring the group down during the field study. Well, if you say so. Um, that's not really what we're worried about. Anyway, we should finish up our preparations and head over to the station. 
I'll bet Group B's waiting there for us already. Agreed. All right, let's see if they're all in here. Yep. Let's go! Oh, you're all here. Ready to take off? Praise all over be. All right, let's get our tickets to the counter then. Well, the capital's only half an hour west, so at least the fare won't should be cheap. I think I would love if if the school if if your school like did that like here here's our field trip this is your assignment go to this city and do this this and this and come back with a report and tell me how it was like I think that would be awesome. Good morning, everyone. Hehe, <laughs> let me guess. You're heading for Heimdall this month. That's right. We have like five tickets to Heimdall, please. Coming right up. You know, the Capital Summer Festival is coming up in just two days. I'm sure lots of people will be streaming into the Capital to celebrate, so be careful out there. Haha, <laughs> we will. Don't worry. I'm used to dealing with it. Buy tickets and wait. Don't buy tickets just yet. Yep. I'll have those tickets for you in just a moment. They're already going off. Oh, we all are. Okay. Passenger service bound for Heimdall. God dang it. We asked that all passengers wish to board a plane. I will never get all those words. Who... This is a very fast speaking announcer. Well, at least we won't be waiting long. There's a train to Heimdall every half hour after all. So we're really neat headed to the capital. I've been there a few times before, but it's still pretty unfamiliar territory. I've been twice before on family business. Same year. I know where Elise's academy is, but that's about it. Not to worry, I'll explain more on the city on the way there. It's a pretty big city, though. I'm not even sure where to start. Alright, not too much longer than we arrive, so let me give you a quick overview. Heimdall is among many other things, the capital of this country, which means it's the home of the reigning emperor, his majesty, Ungut Rins Aner III. Even children know that. We need useful local knowledge, not a recitation of the travel brochure. Bah! Well, Heimdall is divided into 16 main districts. Each district is about as large as the whole town in any of the empire's provinces. No, no, the city's population hovers around 800,000 people. Wow, I can only imagine that many people in one place. It's one of the continent's largest cities, isn't it? Indeed it is. Crossbow is known for being a thriving center of trade, but its population is only around 500,000 people. Meanwhile, to the south, Liverpool's capital is about 300,000 people. The Republic's capital is pretty big too. But I don't think it's quite as big as Heimdall. Huh? Really? What? Oh, I was just wondering what kinds of tasks we may be asked to do in such an expensive city. I can hardly hazard a guess. Oh. Well, we don't know who our point of contact is, or even where we're going to be staying. Who knows, maybe we'll end up staying in Elliot or Marcus's home. 
Haha, <laughs> I doubt it. My house isn't big enough to put us all up. But Marcus is dad is the governor, so maybe we'll be staying at his place. I think that's even less likely. Dad spends most of his time in his official residence, so I doubt anyone's going to be at her family's place. Instructor Sarah said that they'd be a guide of some sort waiting for us at the station, though she didn't mention who. That's Instructor Sarah for you. Honestly, she never really tells us anything, does she? Alright guys, well it looks like I'm at the end of the video right here. Um, in the next video, we're going to be heading, I guess, to Heimdall and seeing what kind of tasks are waiting before us. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you get the... Oh my god, I'm studying! If you guys enjoyed this episode, then please leave a big fat like and subscribe to the channel for more. Bye! I'll see you guys later!